the days pass happily with me wherever my ship sails. Joshua Slocum. In this episode, we finally depart Marina Pescaderia, bound for Phosphorescence Bay and Caribbean Adventures. All right, so it is 5.30 in the morning. Lisa and I have already been up for a little bit. We are getting ready today to finally take off and leave Marina Pescaderia. Now we're still gonna be in Puerto Rico for a little bit. We're gonna bounce along the south side of the island and uh, take in a couple stops before we head over towards St. Thomas. But we got a lot of stuff to do today. We had to open up Seacocks for the engines, close the ones for the air conditioners, set the water maker up to take in seawater and make fresh water. And Lisa is out putting in the fresh water right now. We gotta unplug the shore power, set up the navigation, take the rudder locks off so we can steer the boat. I don't know, there's all sorts of stuff you gotta do when your boat's been sitting here for a while. It's kinda like a little transformer. Let's go check out and see what Lisa's doing. What are you doing? Filling up the water to get ready to leave Marina Pescaderia. Yeah? He head south. Um, to Phosphorescent Bay. That sounds kind of cool. What's there? Phosphorescent animals. Oh. Or, no, microbes. Yeah, something like it. I'm not sure either. <laughs> something like that. I need to be educated. Yeah. Um, so, it's so crazy because I was just thinking about filming, about, I was sitting here thinking, it's early in the morning, o dark 30, the sun hasn't come up yet, and I was sitting here thinking, I've made several friends here, Mike and Karen, and Jose, the manager and owner of the marina, and Dario, and, and just several people here at the marina. I've been here for so long, it feels like home, and you just... It's so close to Thanksgiving. It's only a week away, and I'm really grateful for the time that I've had here, and I'm really grateful to have the life of a sea gypsy, and I'm so thankful to be able to share this experience with the love of my life and do this. We've been dreaming about it and talking about it for so long, and. We're getting ready to start our next, next journey to our next destination, and we want to take you along with us. And I can't wait to get this started. We finished getting the boat transformed from a stationary home to a seagoing ship just after sunrise. Lisa took the helm while I untied all the dock lines except one. We used the last one to spring off the dock as we made our way in between all of our friends' boats. We exited Marina Pescaderia in the Puerto Real Channel bound for ports farther east. We rounded Punta Aguila and Ferro Los Morios before making our turn east. This is the same lighthouse Lisa explored a few months back. It was cool seeing it on the rocky outcropping the same way millions of mariners have done before us. After a couple hours of motoring into the trade winds, we approached the channel into Phosphorescence Bay. The bay was almost glass calm as we pulled into our new temporary home and dropped the anchor. Lisa backed down to make sure we would be stuck in place while we were there. Right, so we just got to Phosphorescence Bay. Apparently it's supposed to be a good spot at night. Uh, the water will light up with the bioluminescence. Hopefully we'll be able to check that out tonight. As we were coming in, a lot of the birds around here were fishing and then even some fish were jumping. Hopefully we'll be able to catch a little bit of that for you guys as we're sitting here.
dead. There's no ground there. There's no ground here. There's no ground. There's no Mom, ground. Mom, what the hell is Dad doing to me? Miss Dad's first time at anchor out on the new trampoline. She's only been out here on the trampoline one other time, and that's when we first bought the boat and was in North and we were in North Carolina. She wasn't happy then either. <laughs> Bestet. What do you think, little one? She's taking a look at the view. And there she goes. She's like, she said, I'll catch you, you guys on the flip side. She probably still smells Sophia out here all over. I wonder if there is any Sophia smell left. Is this the life? Yeah, it's not too bad. Anchor life is pretty d darn good. Anchor life is the best life. As nightfall drew near, a local tour boat showed up with tourists to check out the bioluminescence. We couldn't capture it on camera, but it was really cool to have the feeling of being surrounded by thousands of stars while you were in the water. The next day, Lisa spotted some dolphins. Yeah, they're little, little dolphins. Since the dolphins were playing around the boat, we jumped in to check them out, but they were already gone. We decided to clean the hall of unwritten timeline instead. We did have a little help from a friendly crab, so it wasn't such a big job. After swimming and cleaning the hall, we explored the local mangrove forest to see what else was around the area. Enjoying your gondola ride through the mangroves? Yes, I am. <laughs> you were reading my mind. I'm like, this reminds me of Venice. I was sitting in the gondola. Yeah, I'm glad we got these big oars because I don't have to sit down or anything to reach the water. I yeah, can stand up here. They're awesome. They're sturdy too. Yeah. Really sturdy. What do you think of the mangroves? I like it. It's cool. Is this the one of the like calmest, most awesome anchorage spots we have found? Yeah, I love this place. Definitely recommend La Pa, -Pa Guerra. Garra. I gotta work on my Spanish accent. Or phosphorescent bay. Yeah, let's just go with that. You can just go with phosphor. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. Even if you don't want to see the bioluminescence, I I would recommend this as an anchorage if you're in the area, because this is one of the most calm places that we've been. Yeah. Do I need a duck? No, you're good. I'll just pass through. Pull, baby, pull. This mangrove canal eventually ran out of water, so we took off to find another route through the mangroves.
We followed the new canal until we didn't have enough room to even turn our tender around, so I had to back us out. We searched the area until we couldn't go any further in the tender. Captain Dave going in reverse in a tender. With all our work and exploring the bay finished, we headed back to the boat to enjoy another beautiful Puerto Rican sunset. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss future episodes. And we'll see you guys next time.